Hello! Well, some people think you need to spend two hours a day in the gym every day lifting 200 pounds of weight for you to get the cardiovascular benefits of exercise. Well, you don't. And there is research evidence to back that up. Indeed, if you can perform the nitric oxide dump exercise routine three times a day, seven days a week, you will get the same cardiovascular benefits as though you went to the gym. The nitric oxide dump exercise routine is arguably the most time efficient, no gym required, no equipment required exercise routine out there that will deliver the same amount of benefits to you. But are you getting the most out of the nitric oxide dump exercise routine? How can we optimize it such that you get the best out of it? Well, that's what this video is about. I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Now for today's 2020 idea to better health, please welcome on stage. Hello, welcome back. I'm Dr. Joe of the DrJoe.com. Well, if this is your first time on this channel, can I extend a warm welcome to you? This is your home of 2020 Ideas to Better Health. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. So a couple of questions have been raised since I published that video on the nitric oxide dump exercise routine, which you are probably familiar with already. And uh, I felt I needed to answer some of these questions because uh, well, these questions will actually represent tips on how you can optimize the exercise routine so you get the best out of it. So the first question some people have asked is the number of reps. Well, is 20 reps for each of the exercises that make up each set. So for each set, you should have had a total of 80 reps. So uh, it's going to be 20 squats, okay, 20 squats, uh, 20 circular arm swings, uh, 20 30 forward march, and 20 shoulder presses, okay? So with each of these, you should have 80 reps in each set. And for the three sets, uh, you should be having a total of 240 reps. And for the entire day, if you do this exercise routine three times a day, you should have a total of 720 reps. That's the beauty of it. Each of the three sets is going to last about four minutes. So you're going to be spending a total of 12 minutes the entire day if you do it three times a day. So I hope that answers the question about the reps. So the next tip is the speed. Uh, is speed important? Yes, it is. Because it is a high intensity interval training. What that means is uh, you have to do it very fast. Now, if you're on feet and you cannot do fast you can start off slow but eventually ultimately you have to work on your speed because speed is of the essence it's a high intensity exercise routine so uh, you cannot be going say for instance going like that with your squats you cannot be going one two three no that's not gonna cut it you need to go bang 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 okay so speed is essential. Ultimately, you want to finish the exercise routine in record time, if you like. So the next thing I want to talk about is uh, technique. The, and the thing I want to say about technique is it has to do with the static forward match because the temptation is to slam your arms on your body like that. You don't need to do that. You should exercise some element of control. So you go up and then down, just as your arm about to touch your body, you go back, okay? You have to exercise that control. Up, down, up, down. Don't slam your arms on your body. When well, there's something else I need to say about the reps regarding the static forward match, the count. Um, you don't want, you know, you have to swing both arms. That is one rep, okay? So one, two, okay this is not one two three four so it's got to be one two three four okay so i needed to clarify that because uh, it's very important so that you count properly uh, oh yes i nearly forgot uh, some people have raised some issues regarding uh, breathing um, during the uh, exercise routine well i like to keep things simple um, they, they wanted to know when to breathe in and when to breathe out it really doesn't matter uh, just go with the flow as far as breathing is concerned you don't need to time your breathing with the movements at all because if you do that that's going to be a distraction and you don't need that just go with the flow the only thing i'll say about breathing is um, try not to breathe Breathe with your mouth breathe with your nose so keep your mouth closed and just breathe with your nose that's all as far as breathing is concerned another issue uh, somebody talked about was whether to have a clenched fist or to keep the hands the, the hand open during the exercise routine um, simplicity as well uh, because you want to be aerodynamic so 
as far as the static forward march is concerned you need to keep a clenched fist because otherwise you know your your, your arms are not going to be aerodynamic and then and also for the circular arm swing you need to be aerodynamic so you need a clenched fist as well for that but beyond that for the squats as well as the shoulder presses just keep your hands open you don't need to uh, have a clenched fist that's all uh, as far as uh, that is concerned so one more thing as far as technique is concerned uh, the squat police they've been on my case uh, they've criticized my squatting technique in that video uh, but you know that's the way I do it is just comfortable for me uh, but that's just me okay having said that uh, I have a duty of care to actually demonstrate for you what a correct squatting technique should be and that's what I'm going to demonstrate here unfortunately I'm not standing on a flat surface <laughs> this place is sloping this you know this way so uh, but I'm still going to demonstrate it anyway so essentially what you need to do when you want to squat is your feet need to be spread out wide okay not too wide you know just about the width of your body and then you stand straight shoulders back and you bend as though you know you've got to project your bum backwards you bend as though you want to sit okay and then with your arms stretching out uh, the whole idea behind the your arms stretching out is to provide a sort of balance for you so you, you spread out stick your bum out like that out like that out like that out like that the purists will say when you bend your knees should be behind your toes well if you can manage that that's great if you can't it's okay as well uh, but that is the correct squatting technique so the next question was uh, should you use weights well no you don't have to this exercise routine was designed for you to use your body weight so you don't necessarily have to use weights but if you want to use weights that's okay the only thing I'll say is you have to be careful you need to hold the weights very firmly because there's a lot of arm swinging that goes on uh, you don't want to hurt people around you or you don't want to Break things around you so you can use weights but be careful the next question was uh, uh, when should you do it well uh, it's up to you you can do it any time of the day you know uh, essentially what do you need you just need space you just need yourself and space you know for you to swing your arms that's all you need so uh, it doesn't matter when you do it but it, it what I would advise is it would be a good idea for you to actually set a routine for yourself so for instance you can do it first thing once you jump, jump out of bed in the morning um, because once you start doing that it becomes a habit and then once it becomes a habit it's going to become part and parcel of your lifestyle so first thing in the morning uh, is is one one way of doing it another thing you can do is just do it before you jump onto the shower as well so uh, that's another way you can do it in the morning so that way you've gotten the morning session out of the way and then uh, you know at work you might decide to do it uh, just before you have your lunch um, and then uh, when you come back from work uh, just do it in the evening as soon as you get back and you've changed from your work clothes to your house clothes quickly get that get, get it sorted and you got the evening session out of the way so uh, that's my advice as far as when to do it is concerned right so the next thing I want to talk about is uh, the two-hour rule there is a two-hour rule because we are supposed to do this exercise routine about three times a day now uh, what, what what is the two-hour rule it means there has to be a minimum of two hour interval between each of the exercise routines and you know so you, there's no point you do it at 9 a.m. and then 10 a.m. and then 11 a.m. that is not gonna work uh, the idea behind the two-hour rule is that it takes about two hours for your body to reconstitute and reproduce and store uh, more nitric oxide for you to unleash into your circulation so if you do it for less than two hours uh, you're not going to get the true benefits you will exercise but you're not going to get the true benefits of uh, the nitric oxide being released into your circulation so you need to allow a minimum of two hours for your body to reconstitute and produce and store uh, another set of nitric oxide on the lining of the blo blood vessel walls uh, before you do the next exercise routine so minimum of two hours interval between the exercise routines okay so that's uh, something you need to uh, bear at the back of your mind as well so yes those are the tips that you actually need for you to get the best out of this nitric oxide exercise routine hope that helps if you got any more questions don't forget to ask just ask below I'll answer them uh, I think that's about it for this video if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe okay um, that's about it until next time well this is dr. Joe signing out